Good evening. I'm here with the ever-controversial Madonna for a rare glimpse inside the woman who has virtually redefined pop culture. Say hello, Madonna. Hello, hello, hello. Now, before we start, I just have to say, it took an awfully long time to schedule this interview with you. Were you intimidated to be in the same room with me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, I was. Well, that's understandable. After all, you know what they say. You can pick your friends, and you can lead a horse to water, but you can't keep your eyes open while you're sneezing. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. First of all, let's review some of your earlier film work. Um, I thought you were really good in A League of Their Own. Me too. Now, you got to work with Rosie O'Donnell in that movie, and I guess you became pretty good friends with her. What's she really like? She can, she's very destruct, she can be very destructive, but at the same time, she, she has many arms and many legs, and she, she takes, she makes life. She has like an empty, a, a, an, an empty stomach, like a womb sort of carved out, and she takes, um, she takes energy and turns it into life, and she kind of does both. Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, <clears throat> uh, what kind of music do you like? Do you like, oh, uh, Eric Clapton? No, because I think all of his stuff is parody. Hmm. Are you maybe getting him mixed up with me? It's possible. I thought so. What is that thing in your nose? Is that some kind of homing device? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, wow, that's pretty cool. I gotta get one of those. Hey, I've always wondered... Have you ever been performing on stage and gotten a really bad wedgie? It hurts. Yeah, I imagine so. Uh, is it hard work changing your hair color every three hours? Exhausting. I can't tell you. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the square root of infinity? I don't know. Um, do you have any advice for our viewing audience? Life advice? Yeah, whatever. You have to be much more... Um, independent in your thinking and you have to make sure that what you do is what you want to do because if happiness lies in your own hand and you make that realization and you realize that you can't rely on other people for it and other things um, what are you looking at there's nothing up there To me, that means that... Okay, okay, shut up. Um, let me ask you about your literary career. You know that book you wrote a couple of years ago? Well, I bought a copy of it last week at a garage sale, and all the pages were stuck together. What's up with that? <coughs> anyway, what I wanted to know is, have you ever considered writing a book that didn't have naked pictures of you in it? Yeah, I could see doing something like that. Well, that would be a novelty. Say, wh why do you keep looking at me like that? Do I turn you on? Definitely. Really? You know, I've been told that I ooze human sexuality. Well, I think it's true. You've kind of got a little crush on me, don't you? Of course. Do you think there's anybody in the world sexier than me? I really doubt it. <laughs> <clears throat> Surely you must think someone is sexier. Mel Gibson? No. George Clooney, Antonio Banderas? Absolutely not. Dick Van Patten? No way. Wow. Well, you know, it's a curse sometimes, this incredible animal magnetism that I have. It's frightening. Yeah. But, Madonna, you've got to find a way to control your unbridled lust for me. I cannot control that. Well, you've got to try. Hey, wait a minute. Are you the woman that keeps calling my house at 2.30 in the morning and hanging up? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Madonna, this just isn't healthy. You've got to let go of this fixation you seem to have on me. It's hard to let it go. I know, but look, you're just not my type. How can I put this? Y you've been around the block a few times. Absolutely not. Oh, yeah? Quick, name three people you haven't slept with yet. Uh, 
That's a tough question. See? Besides, I hear you're going to be having a baby soon. Yeah. Wow. Well, how did that happen? Sexual intercourse. I, I, you know. Oh, so that's how it works. Hey, how come you can have a baby and I can't? I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm a woman. Yeah, that makes sense. So, um, tell us a little bit about your new album. It's really boring, actually. Okay, then um, let's talk about my new album. What do you think of it? I really dig it. Was it the best album you ever heard in your life? Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really? Would you say it's infinitely better than anything you ever did? Yes, absolutely. Oh, thanks. Well, it's just about time to wrap up our little interview. Thanks, Madonna. And good luck with whatever you're doing these days. I hope we can have you back again real soon. I am never doing this again. Yeah, whatever. We'll be right back.